We have a full gallery, a price tag, and a launch date for the Galaxy Z Flip, and they're actually different after all. Apple is ready to start mass producing its upcoming iPhone 9, but it seems that the China might cause some delays. And we have some alleged price tags and video renders of the Huawei P40 series, and it gets better. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, it's been a couple of days since the passing of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and friends. I still have a hard time believing that this tragedy has happened, but I do remember Kobe's legacy, and it's a reminder for today to make the best out of this opportunity that we have to live this extra day. This is Pocket Down Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Yes, yesterday was a uh, pretty much Apple free deals day. So how about if we share some love to Cupertino back? Currently, Apple has the 10.2 inch iPad for $100 off, leaving it at $250 shipped. And that is for the 128 gigabyte variant. That is actually crazy good. We also have other deals on Amazon products like the Fire TV Stick and the Fire TV Stick 4K, which are around $15 off. And while well, we also have the Echo Buds, $40 off, leaving them at 130 because it's only mandatory for Amazon to also do the same for its own products. You can learn more about each of these deals in the description. Now let's move the spotlight over to Motorola. There is a ton of speculation over what else we're getting from this company aside from the Razer. And it seems that uh, they are ready to get aggressive. Today we have invitations for an MWC event happening on February 23rd, where we'll reportedly be seeing four smartphones. Uh, the phones we expect are the Moto G8, the G8 Power, the Midranger with a stylus that we discussed yesterday, and the Edge Plus, which is apparently a flagship. The Edge Plus is expected to bring a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 and a punch hole display and 12 gigs of RAM, a Moto G flagship, or could it bring a different name and it's just not gonna bring the G8 name, it's just Edge Plus. Uh, whatever the case may be, welcome back, Moto. It, we've missed you, like, for how long since the Moto X lineup to actually give us real flagships. Now let's move the spotlight over to your typical batch of rumors of the Galaxy S20 and what to expect as we've got more leaks from XDA developers. It seems that the S20 series will most likely go on sale on the first Friday of March. The Galaxy S20 Ultra will apparently start at $1,300 and the whole S20 series will bring an IP68 certification as usual. Moving on to the Galaxy Buds Plus, they are tipped to retail for $150 and will offer twice the battery life and will also include active noise isolation instead of active noise cancellation, which pretty much sounds like passive noise cancellation. We'll see what they mean. And how about if we also talk about the Huawei P40 series, particularly because, uh, well, today we have a full video of what the device is going to look like, and it looks hot. The renders show different color variants, the camera design, the punch hole display. But the interesting part is that last year's P30 Pro launched at a thousand euros while the 30 went for 800. The source claims that the regular P40 will start at 600 euros while the Pro will start at 800. And we do know that there might be a premium edition that could start at that 1000 euro mark. Now, for those of you wondering exactly why the drop in price, a lot of the claim has to do with the lack of Google Play services, which could be the case with these phones. And just remember, they're not gonna die. They sell enough of them in China. But uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting that, to see a price drop. Now, one of the devices that we are expecting to launch sometime in the spring is the iPhone 9 or whatever successor we're gonna get to the iPhone SE series. But the thing about it is apparently we will be seeing some sort of delays. It seems that the production of this device could face some problems due to the coronavirus outbreak in China. Though neither Foxconn nor Pegatron are located in Wuhan, analysts claim that there is no way that the supply chain isn't going to be affected by the virus, particularly because in China, the Chinese New Year actually got extended mainly because of the outbreak. Apple is reportedly ordering 15 million iPhone 9s, which would start mass production in the third week of February. Foxconn claims that they are monitoring the situation closely and will follow and recommend health practices and claim to meet global manufacturing obligations. Apple also plans to donate for this whole China outbreak, and hopefully it doesn't extend to other countries. Uh, we'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more. Definitely health in China is more important than another phone, but we'll see. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip because we've got uh, lots of information emerging, particularly as to dates design a lot. 
We're expecting this device to be available after unpacked on February 11th, and we've got new leaks that claim that it will be available until three days after, which would be like around February 14th. It also claims that the price tag might not change after all and remain a $1,400 device. This new foldable might also be exclusive to AT&T for a limited time, but apparently there will be unlocked devices being sold later. A new gallery has also emerged, showing it in magenta tone. The final product actually does look kind of hot, with specs being mentioned of a 22 by 9 aspect ratio display when extended, and it's actually 6.7 inches diagonal. A hinge that opens in 70 and 110 10 degrees depending on your needs. We've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of non-expandable storage, two 12 megapixel cameras at the back, a 10 megapixel punch hole at the front. I mean, let us know. I mean, what do you think about the image gallery, the specs, um, the price tag? In my case, here's the thing. If you price a 256 gigabyte iPhone 11 Pro Max right now, with taxes and everything, it'll pretty much cost you almost the same money a little less expensive. I mean, for $1,400 and a couple of plans, I think it's actually going to be a compelling product, but obviously we'll see. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me play around with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.